Hey guys, welcome to Chase and Tail TV. Today we're in beautiful Montauk. We're gonna do some nighttime striper fishing. We got the whole crew from Dye with us. We got Chris, Tadeshi, and we got Mark. Yo. Today's a special trip. We're gonna be sampling. We're gonna be testing some brand, brand new, new reels. We can't really show them to you. At least I hope, don't, don't look at that reel over there. Um, <laughs> Not this one. And we're gonna be testing them on some new production rods that are actually out. So yes. um, hopefully uh, the weather gods will smile on us and we'll, uh, we'll be able to put the uh, boots to some nice stripers. It's gonna be like one of those uh, climax shows. You know, you get it, get it, but you can't actually see what it is. I know. You'll see the reel going, you're gonna hear the reel screaming. That's right, and we'll be but talking you're not about see it. The reel. That's but right. You're not uh, gonna see the reel. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. <laughs> it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Hopefully, we get on the bass. Going out with Captain Kenny out of my Joyce, out of Montauk. It's gonna be a great time. See you now. shaking his eel right now. You don't, you, the reason why I'm shaking him is because you don't want him to turn into a little eel ball and he'll tie some magnificent knots right before your very eyes. So this little thing I'm doing is going to prevent him from doing that. If I put him down, guarantee you, he'll just start threading himself and make a huge knot. Sometimes you'll see people slam him on the deck, knock him out a little, put him on ice. Yeah. Coming over here. Fish on, buddy. Fish on. Chris has got it, baby. Oh, where am I? Over him. No, we definitely got each other. I feel him. Better come on him, come on him. It's a keeper. That's how you do it, hot drop lock. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good job. Hey, guys, you both caught him. Oh, he's got both hooks in the mouth. <laughs> hey, we do what we gotta do. It's teamwork, right? So we're off the point right now, drifting approximately three knots, and I uh, got a pretty quick uh, drift here with the wind and the uh, tide together. We're using circle hooks. So basically, what you want to do is when you get that hit. There's no swinging. You're going to let that tip go down. You're gonna, the fish is going to pull the rod down, do a nice slow crank, and the hook is going to do its job, get him right in the corner, and you'll have your fish on and just crank. That's basically it. You've got to fight the urge to slam it. I'm a, I'm a J-hook guy, so, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm getting dumped here. How's that rod working for it's you? It's beautiful. I love it. Proteus in store. It's beautiful. Model. This was designed to do exactly what we're doing right now. This is this beautiful. Is why we designed this rod. It's amazing. I love that it. It's a really good looking, good looking fish. He's coming up to the top. Say my arm is sore. See, we put him on the meat, and what does he do? <laughs> I'll back up. I'm, I'm, see. No I'm not, I'm not. What do they say on TV? Color? We got color. We got color. In her. That's all that fish was? There you Come go. That's on, nice that fish, fish fought buddy. good. That a boy. <laughs> I know it's bigger than the other one. That fish fought good. That one fooled me. That's, that's bigger than mine. That's yeah, bigger than mine. Bigger. But that's I thought it was way bigger than that. That's about a 30. That fish fought really good. There you go. Hold that side. We're definitely drifting faster now. And again, now this is this is our saltest. Northeast 7.6. Again, you just owned that fish. You spun her around, and that's it. She was pulling Yeah, I wasn't right. messing with her. <laughs> All cork. This is what this rod was made to do again. It's nice northeast. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. I've still got, I don't have my top shot yet. It's not that big. No? Nah. I never said it was big. <laughs> nah, it's only a little bit. It's only the biggest one of the night. That's all. It's a big fish, dude. It's a nice fish. There you go, nice fish. Oh, I was about to grab that gaff. <laughs> I was about to jump in and get her. That's a fish. Yeah, I got him. Not 150 bucks. 
Oh, then I get 75. I'll give you 75, no problem. Atta boy, there's his first striper. We're here with Mate Dave. First Mate Dave. First Mate Dave. Oh my mate. God, of course. Come first on. Mate Dave. <laughs> We're going to talk about the rig here. You know, a lot of people, they'll use slider rigs. They feel, you know, such a big bait that the eels, the uh, bass has got to suck up the eels. So we'll use a slider rig, let it go. But theoretically, you don't have to use that rig. But tonight, we're using a simple three way rig with a circle hook. We held up, we feel that fish bite, bow down, rod starts bending over, and you just start cranking. That's it. And just about every single fish, I think we lost maybe one, yep. just about every fish in a corner to mount hook landed all the fish. Not even that big of a circle hook. 7 0, owner Mutu. Oh, that's okay. Yep. And that's basically it. I mean, like, do you ever see people use a slide this year? It's always yeah. a three way. Yeah, the reason why we like to use a three way is uh, we like a short little drop on them. A lot of people use long. A lot of people will do like five foot drops mm -hmm. on them. Uh, we like to use short, you stay tight to the bottom. Not too tight though. And if, you're, if your sinker, which we experienced tonight, right. when your sinker gets caught, okay, you break that. That breaks away. You don't, root, you don't lose your whole rig. You don't lose your eel, you don't lose your hook. And possibly your fish. Eels are expensive, hooks yeah. are expensive, and the leaders are expensive. All you're losing is just the lead. You're not losing everything. You're just losing the lead. Right. So that's why we like difference. to use this. Yeah. It's, uh, it's more sustainable for us. So. And you were saying before, use. like the eels, they'll naturally swim down. Yeah, that, the eels will naturally swim right to the bottom. They usually, you know, you don't want to fish right on the bottom with these. That's why we use a lighter sinker, kind of stay off the off the bottom a little bit. And uh, and you and that way you're not you're not bouncing in the bottom. You're not getting stuck in the bottom. The eels will go hide in the bottom, get yeah. you stuck and everything. Well, so we had a great trip. Once in a while it happens. We're filled in here. We'll show you the fish later. Yeah. We had an awesome trip with the guys. Full boat limit of striped bass. Full boat bass. limit. Fish All to nice 40 ones. pounds. Yeah, 40 it was pounds. Awesome, but we'll show you guys the fish later. Excellent. Man, it was awesome. Thank you very much. No sure. problem. Guys, what a night, right? It was awesome, man. We totally crushed the bass. And it was so funny, as I predicted. I said, we started off with a small one, and then from there on, every fish got bigger and bigger really? and bigger. We shouldn't even be home right now. We'd have the world record. <laughs> probably. We probably would. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> but that last one, the last one we released was definitely an easy 40 pounder. Yep. Yep. That yep. you had. It was yep. an awesome fish. The very last fish of the trip. Yep. And it was awesome. Great job. Kenny did awesome. Got Don here cutting up the fish here. Doing awesome. Yep. Dave. Dave, sorry. Okay, how, did our <laughs> how did our secret reel do? The secret reels did very good. Very good. Yeah. Very smooth. The rods were awesome. It was a great day. I, mean, I wish I could show them to you guys. I really do. It'd be yeah. really great. You know, we brought Takeshi. Actually, we brought. He came out here all the way from Japan to the Northeast to show off this new reel and test it. You know, right now, just so you guys know, it is September 7th, and this reel will not be released until uh, probably March. So that shows the type of uh, design and, you know, engineering yeah. that we put in it and testing we do. So, you know, it was a good trip, man. It was awesome. Thank you very I, and much. And the Julie. reel worked flawlessly. It was an amazing reel. Yeah, it, it was. was. Good. We had an absolutely wonderful charter yep. captain. My yeah. Joy's charters knocked it out of the park. Yeah, nice, nice job there, Chris. Good oh, picking, man. It was, good stuff. It was awesome All right. stuff.